Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. Indeed, by faith our ancestors received approval. By faith we understand that the worlds were prepared by the word of God, so that what is seen was made from things that are not visible. Good morning. Sub Bakhair. Salamji. Jai Masidi. I am Sara Gill, Vicar of St. Stephen's and St. James Church, Blackburn. A warm welcome. Khush Amdeed. In this multilingual service of praise and worship, Christians from all over the world affirm their faith in Jesus as their Savior and Lord. We begin our worship by celebrating our faith in the healing power of Jesus Christ. A young Pakistani Christian, Daim Gill, and his group testify their faith in Jesus Christ through the lyrics composed by Faraz Bhatti. We hear this wonderful affirmation and testimony of faith in Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord, Hallelujah, praise the Lord, Hallelujah, praise the Lord, Hallelujah, praise the Lord, Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Asa tere kolo leniye असा तेरे को लेनी है शिफा तुम्हें हक ना ले जिंदगी दीरा निगा तू हक नाले जिंदगी दीरा 
तू भी कर जरा सड़ते निगा तू हक नाल जिंदगी तेरा We believe that Jesus is always present with us, both in our joys, in our happiness, as well as in the most difficult circumstances in our life. This assurance offers us confidence and trust in Jesus, who never leaves us or forsakes us. Let me share this video of a young person who is an artist. Despite having significant health issues, Hope Simpson's strong faith in Jesus had made us share her talents with others. I have a privilege to know Hope and learn from her true faith in Jesus Christ. I do not choose to have faith, I see it within people. The flowing rivers of change, they speak to me, telling of stories, whispering the truths of travellers come to pass. They remind me of all the angels that walk among us, hidden within the shadow of our doubt. I think faith has always confused me. I felt I wasn't good enough because I forgot to pray, didn't go to church as often as I should, and made too many mistakes to count each day. Through growing, aging, and seeing the world evolve alongside me, I began to realise what my faith and following Jesus truly meant for me. It's the little things. It's hearing his name as a whisper, rather than a shout. Spreading kindness, open-mindedness, and love, outside of Christianity, but through the Spirit. I often try to guess what Jesus might do if he visited us today, and then I remember, he's here, within each one of us, we just have to do our best to listen. Many churches across the Diocese of Blackburn are joyfully serving their community of diverse backgrounds, sharing with their neighbours the love of Jesus. Today, one of our churches in Blackburn would like to share their joy of serving people from all backgrounds in their area in the name of Jesus. We have a presentation by Reverend Canon Andrew Rains from Christ Church, Blackburn, who is going to share about their mission and ministry. Hello and welcome to Christchurch Blackburn. We're a church building that's uh, just a half a mile up from the Blackburn Cathedral. The church has been here since 1859. This present building has been here uh, about a quarter of a century. And even in those 25 years or so, this parish has seen quite significant change. Around 60% of our population are Asian heritage, both from uh, India and Pakistan backgrounds. But also in these last two decades, we've seen many people coming from all over the world, from Africa, from the Middle East, Eastern Europe, some with a Christian faith, others with none. But as part of the Diocese of Blackburn, our responsibility here is to present Christ to people, whoever they are, whatever their background. And the risen Lord Jesus said that repentance and forgiveness of sins will be preached to all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. And it's marvellous every Sunday to see people from many different nations coming together around the Lord Jesus. So as we hear now Manoa and Lubna sing, we give thanks to, to God that in the Lord Jesus we have one who has broken down the barriers between us and unites us in his love. We are going to sing this song from one of the famous hymn book from Pakistan, which is in Urdu. It's called Sialkut Convention Geet Ki Kitab. 
and the song number is 340 it says bane raho tum bane raho yesu mein bane raho which means keep rooted and grounded in jesus christ बने रहो तुम बने रहो यीशु में बने रहो यीशु में बने रहो रूह में गाओ रूह में झूमो रूह में गाओ रूह में झूमो यीशु में बने रहो यीशु में बने जैसे मछली बिन पानी के जिंदा न रहती है वैसे ही विश्वासी है ये बिन मुर्दा है जैसे मछली बिन पानी के जिंदा न रहती है वैसे ही विश्वासी यीशु बिन मुर्दा है कसरत की जिंदगी पाने को कसरत की जिंदगी पाने को यीशु में बने रहो यीशु में बने रहो रू में गाओ रू में झूमो रू में गाओ रू में झूमो यीशु में बने रहो जो डाली सदा फल लाती है उसको वो जानता है प्यार खुदा जिसे करता है उसको वो डांटता है जो डाली सदा फल लाती है उसको वो डांटता है प्यार खुदा जिसे करता है उसको वो डांटता है रूहानी फलों से भरने को रूहानी फलों से भरने को ये सुने बने रहो ये सुने बने रहो रू में गाओ रू में झूमो रू में गाओ रू में झूमो यीशु में बने रहो यीशु में बने रहो राहत जिंदगी देने वाला तुमको बुलाता है को बुलाता है राहक जिंदगी देने वाला तुमको बुलाता है सुबह का तारा नूर का तारा तुमको बुलाता है मनसुब आनंद पाने को मनसुब आनंद यीशु में बने रहो यीशु में बने रहो रूह में गाओ रूह में झूमो रूह में गाओ रूह में झूमो 
यीशु में बने रहो यीशु में बने रहो Our reading is taken from Hebrews chapter 11 starting at the first verse Now faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see This is what the ancients were commended for By faith we understand that the universe was formed at God's command so that what is seen was not made out of what was visible and then down to verse 13 all these people were still living by faith when they died they did not receive the things promised they only saw them and welcomed them from a distance and they admitted that they were aliens and strangers on earth people who say such things show that they are looking for a country of their own If they had been thinking of the country they had left they would have had the opportunity to return instead they were longing for a better country a heavenly one therefore god is not ashamed to be called their god for he has prepared a city for them this is the word of the lord Thanks be to God. Our second reading is from St Paul's letter to Galatians chapter 1 verses 11 to 24. I'm going to read in Urdu. Ab bhaiyo main tumhe jitaye deta hu ki jo khushkhabri maine sunayi wo insaan ki si nahi kyunki wo mujhe इंसान की तरफ से नहीं पहुंची और ना मुझे सिखाई गई बल्कि यसु मसीह की तरफ से मुझे उसका मुकाशफा हुआ चुनाचे यहूदी तरीक में जो पहले मेरा चाल चलन था तुम सुन चुके हो कि मैं खुदा की कलीसिया को अजहद सताता और तबाह करता था और मैं यहूदी तरीक में अपनी कौम के अक्सर हम उम्रों से भड़ता जाता था और अपने बुज़ुर्गों की रवायतों में नहायत सरगर्म था लेकिन जिस खुदा ने मुझे मेरी माँ के पेट ही से मखसूस कर लिया और अपने फजल से बुला लिया जब उसकी ये मर्जी हुई कि मुझे अपने बेटे को मुझ में जाखिर करे ताकि मैं गैर कामों कौमों में उसकी खुशखबरी दूँ तो ना मैंने गोश्त और खून से सलाह ली और ना यरूशलीम में उनके पास गया जो मुझ से पहले रसूल थे बल्कि फ़ौर अरब को चला गया फिर वहाँ से दमिश्क को वापस आया फिर तीन बरस के बाद मैं कैफा से मुलाकात करने को यरूशलेम गया और पंद्रह दिन उसके पास रहा मगर और रसूलों में से खुदावन के भाई याकूब के सिवा किसी से ना मिला जो बातें मैं तुमको लिखता हूँ खुदा को हाजिर जान कर कहता हूँ कि वो झूठी नहीं इसके बाद मैं सूर्या और क्लिकिया के इलाकों में आया और यहूदा यहूदिया की कलीसियाएँ जो मसीह में थीं मेरी सूरत से तो वाकिफ ना थीं मगर सिर्फ ये सुना करती थीं कि जो हमको पहले सताता था वो अब उसी दीन की खुशखबरी देता है जिसे पहले तबाह करता था और वो मेरे बायस खुदा की तमजीद करती थी दिस इज़ द वर्ड ऑफ द लॉर्ड थैंक्स बी टू गॉड बिफोर वी हेयर द प्रीचिंग वी आर गोइंग टू लिसन टू वन ऑफ द 
traditional hymns. This hymn helps us to understand how important the suffering and the death of Jesus on the cross is for the redemption of the world. Through his suffering and death on the cross and the resurrection, we have received eternal life. This hymn is sung in different languages by Christians throughout the world. When I survey the wondrous cross. We are very happy to have Bishop of Blackburn, the Right Reverend Julian Henderson, as our preacher in this service. Over to you, Bishop. Let us pray. Grant, Lord, that your word may be our rule, your spirit may be our teacher, and your greater glory. 
our supreme concern, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I hope my presence today and sharing in this stream service signals my support and that of the Dazelson team for these monthly multilingual services. Thank you, Sarah. And I also hope that they may be a way of passing on the truths of the Christian faith about Jesus to some who would find it difficult to attend a church building. Everyone is welcome to tune in and listen anonymously. This is a safe space. Today's theme is about stories of faith. The Bible, the Christian scriptures, is full of accounts of people who believed in God and chose to walk in his way, even if that meant they faced opposition and got into trouble, simply because they were prepared to stand up for truth and godly living. Our first reading from Hebrews chapter 11 tells us of some of the great heroes of faith who lived before Jesus how they carried on often against all the odds. Their lives tell extraordinary stories of courage and fearlessness. Their faith to keep going was sustained by their sure hope of the life beyond the grave in the world to come. And so the writer gives the definition of faith as being, faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. Suffering and trial now in this life was a small price to pay for the glory that was yet to come. Our New Testament reading from the letter to the Galatians tells the story of how Saul, a persecutor of early Christians, was converted and became a preacher and planter of churches. The dramatic story of what happened on the famous Damascus Road in his meeting with the risen and alive Jesus Christ led to a changed life. Paul was a man you couldn't stop, even if it meant physical or mental opposition. Nothing was going to prevent him from passing on the story of Jesus. A Jesus who'd been crucified, but then had been raised back to life on the third day. Christianity, Christian faith, is about a God who has done what is necessary to make possible a message of salvation, forgiveness, hope and eternal life. And of course that unique story has continued to be told to the present day with millions all around the world coming to faith in him as his followers and spreading faster today than at any other time in the last 2,000 years. Speaking personally, I'm very grateful to those two teachers at my secondary school who set up a small meeting to explain the Christian faith, teaching what God had done for the world and for me and how I should respond. And they used the familiar picture of the light of the world, which was painted by Holman Hunt to illustrate verse in the New Testament, Revelation chapter 3 and verse 20, where Jesus is recorded as saying, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with him and he with me. And you'll see here uh, uh, that picture uh, of Holman Hunt's painting showing the risen Jesus uh, wearing royal robes because he's a king, carrying a lantern because he's the light of the world and uh, knocking at a door. And it's a picture of the door of a church or of an individual's life. And he's knocking and waiting to be invited in. Somebody's commented that the only crown that men and women ever gave him was a crown of thorns. And a friend of Holman Hunt's uh, asked him a question and said he made a mistake in the painting. And he said, oh, what's the mistake? And Holman Hunt uh, heard the response, well, there's no handle on the door. And he said, well, that's no mistake because the handle is on the inside. God never forces his way into anyone's life. He always waits to be invited and well, I remember being shown that picture all those many, many years ago and being encouraged to think whether I had ever opened the door of my heart and my life to Jesus. And that was something that I'd never been told about. I'd never been taught about. I'd been to church. 
had been confirmed, but nobody had said that that was something that God was waiting for me to do. And opening the door of my heart and life to him was a life-changing decision and one that I shall never regret. Well, stories of faith, whether it's mine or that of others, people telling others or people coming to faith have continued all the way down to the present. Not so long ago, I finished reading a book called Madness about a man who has been planting churches in North India. He had a vision that God had called him to plant new churches in a very uh, difficult area in the northern part of India. A hundred thousand churches was the vision. And in the last 20 years, he's seen 33 new Christian communities start in northern India. And the book is full of uh, wonderful stories of how that's come about. And one that I like the most is where he goes into a village and meets some people who are sitting outside their home on, on a bed and having a conversation. And he, he asks them whether they've heard about Jesus. And they uh, can't work out what he's talking about and say, well, what is Jesus? Do you buy it in a shop? And uh, he goes on to explain a bit more. And uh, they then say, well, perhaps you could go to, uh, to Delhi. They'll know someone in Delhi who will know about this Jesus, but uh, well, we never heard of him. And he went on, explained a bit more, told the story. And one man began to get rather angry and uh, came back and said, well, are you saying that this Jesus is the son of God and gives eternal life? And uh, Jossie Chaco said, well, yes, that is what I am saying and what I believe. And then this man with quite a lot of anger in his face said, well, where have you been? Why have you not been here before? If that's the story, the message, why haven't you come before? I wonder what our response to the story of Jesus is, whether it's those we know or those that we don't from recent years or back through the centuries. Either we discount them as not really valid, or we dismiss them as not our thing, or do they make us wonder if we ourselves have ever opened the door of our life to Jesus Christ, to the God who formed us and who loves us? If you're listening today and you've never ever done that, and you're hearing his call to you today, may I encourage you to take that step of faith and open the door of your life to him. And if you do that, then please do tell someone who you know is a Christian that that is what you have done. But if you're already a follower of Jesus, well, do these stories of faith inspire you to want to tell others about him and the joy and the hope that he alone can bring? Let's, as Christians, let's be in the business of creating and spreading stories of faith. That will be to the glory of God and for the good of all. Amen. Thank you, Bishop, for your reflection. There is plenty for us to think about. Let us affirm our living faith. Please do join me. We believe in God the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named. We believe in God the Son, who lives in our hearts through faith and fills us with his love. We believe in God the Holy Spirit, who strengthens us with power from on high. We believe in one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord who has conquered death. The response to hear us, risen Lord, is our resurrection and our life. Jesus, bread from heaven, you satisfy hungry from good things. Grant us a share with all the faithful departed and the banquet of your kingdom. Hear us, risen Lord, our resurrection and our life. Jesus, the light of the world, you gave the man born blind the gift of sight. 
open the eyes of faith and bring us from darkness to your eternal light and glory. Hear us, risen Lord, our resurrection and our life. Jesus, Son of the living God, you summoned your friend Lazarus from death to life. Raise us at the last day to full and eternal life with you. Hear us, risen Lord, our resurrection and our life. Jesus, crucified Saviour, in your dying you entrusted each to the other. Mary, your mother, and John, your beloved disciple, Sustain and comfort all who mourn. Hear us, risen Lord, our resurrection and our life. Jesus, our way and truth and life. You drew your disciples, Thomas, from the doubt to faith. Reveal the resurrection faith to the doubting and the lost. Hear us, risen Lord, our resurrection and our life. May God in his infinite love and mercy bring the whole church living and departed in the Lord Jesus to the joyful resurrection and the fulfillment of his eternal kingdom. Amen. We conclude our prayers by saying the Lord's Prayer together. You are welcome to join me in whichever version or language you are familiar with. Ay Hamare Baab Tu jo aasman par hai, tera naam paak mana jai, teri baad shahi aai, teri marzi jaisi aasman par puri hoti hai, zameen par bhi ho, hamari roz ki roti aaj hume de, jis tera hum apne karz dara ko muaf karte hai, tu bhi hamare karz hume muaf kar, hume aasmaish me na la, balke burai se bacha, क्योंकि बादशाही और कुदरत और जलाल हमेशा तेरे ही हैं। Amen. We conclude our worship with joyful assurance that Jesus is our friend. We can come to him at any time in prayer to meet him and celebrate our faith in him. What a friend we have in Jesus.
May the Father, who so loved the world that he gave his only Son, bring you by faith to his eternal life. Amen. May Christ, who accepted the cup of sacrifice in obedience to the Father's will, keep you steadfast as you walk with him the way of his cross. Amen. May the Spirit, who strengthens us to suffer with Christ, that we may share His glory, set your minds on life and peace. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you and with your loved ones, today and always. Amen. We go into the world to walk in God's light, to rejoice in God's love, and to reflect God's glory. Amen. Thank you for joining us in this service of celebration of our faith. We look forward to seeing you next month on Sunday the 6th of September at 9 o'clock. Have a great day. Always be assured because God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. Thank you. Khuda Hafiz.